How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to be hooking our two burner propane Coleman stove up to a 20 pound tank or a five pound propane tank. Tired of paying for these? It's not much to get this hooked up to a 20 pound or five pound propane tank. So we're going to go through the, all the steps of hooking it up and I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the regulator. Last month we had the camper out and we were cooking and something happened to my regulator. And I think I know what happened to it and I'm going to share it with you guys to help you prevent your regulator from going bad. So lots of information in this video. Stay tuned and check it out. The goal is to change the threads from this to this. And that's exactly what our little hose here is going to do. This hose has these threads on the end, which are going to fit right into our regulator. This end has the same threads that's on our 5 pound propane tank or our 20 pound propane tank. So let's get this thing hooked up and we'll show you how it works. All right, let's go ahead and get our regulator hooked up into our Coleman two burner stove. Just slide that in and tighten this nut right here. We're going to go ahead and attach our hose. In my case, this is all set up for it. So I'm gonna run my hose up here. I'm gonna attach it into the regulator. I'm gonna take the other end and hook it to my propane tank. Now I'll go ahead and turn my fuel on. Once you connected your hose to your tank, take a little bit of soap and a bottle and check it for leaks. So if you see no bubbles growing, that means we have no leaks. So we're good to go. All right, we have our five pound propane tank hooked to our Coleman two burner stove. Stove we use a lot and uh, definitely like using a bigger tank, especially for them long trips. So let's see how it works. Oh yeah, we're back in business. This thing's good to go and we'll be cooking in no time. It's much easier using that five pound tank because you only fill it up every once in a while and it's a lot cheaper than buying these. Okay, I have a simple little product here that's gonna help you keep your regulator from going bad. And it's just a small cap, just a small cap. And this small cap is gonna go on our propane tank. Let me show you how it works. This is what's gonna protect our regulator from getting plugged up. And what happens is, is when we're going down the road, maybe dirt, rain, or anything could get inside of here. And we don't want that because that will push it through the line and that will plug our regulator. So what we wanna do is have a cap for this. We screw this cap on here and we're not gonna to have to worry about any debris getting inside of there and it's gonna help protect our regulator. Okay, we're gonna get ready to end this video. I hope it helped out somebody. I'm gonna be leaving some links in the description down below for some of these caps. If you guys wanna get some, pick up a few of them caps for your propane tanks, they're definitely a lifesaver when it comes to these small regulators. It keeps the debris from getting up in there and, and making them go bad. And I know that's what happened to mine. So we're going to leave a link for the caps. We're going to leave a link in there for the regulator. We're using it on the two burner Coleman stove and also the hose. Just in case you want to hook your two burner propane stove to a 20 pound tank or a 5 pound tank. Now I am an Amazon associate so I get a small commission off of qualifying purchases. And it does not change what you pay. It just helps out our channel. So, I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.